first GPUs implementing GDDR7 memory could stick with 16 gigabits chips, 24 gigabits possible. Some of the first gaming GPUs that implement the next generation GDDR7 memory standard will stick to 16 gigabits memory chip densities, 2 gigabytes, according to Copite 7 Kimi, a reliable source with NVIDIA Force leaks. 16 gigabits is what is standard for the current RTX 40 series graphics cards, which ensures that a GPU with 256 bit memory bus gets 16 gigabytes of video memory. The ones with 192 bit get 12 gigabytes, and the ones with 128 bit get 8 gigabytes. The flagship RTX 4090 uses 12 of these chips over its 384 bit memory bus for 24 gigabytes. Copite 7 Kimi's leak could have a different connotation, that much like the RTX 30 series Emperor and RTX 40 series Ada, NVIDIA might not use GDEC standard GDDR7 on all product segments, and might co-engineer an exclusive standard with a DRAM company with memory bus signaling and power management technologies most optimal to its graphics architecture. It co-developed the GDDR6X with Micron technology to do exactly this. GDDR7 comes with data rates as high as 32 Gbps, which will be the top speed for the first round of GDDR7 chips that come out toward the end of 2024, heading into 2025. The second round of GDDR7 chips slated for late 2025 going into 2026, could go as fast as 36 Gbps. This is similar to how the first GDDR6 chips were 1416 Gbps, and the next round did 1820 Gbps. Another very interesting development is a ThreadCenter.org article that reports that GDDR7 will see asymmetric densities such as 24 gigabits and 48 gigabits. A 24 gigabits density GDDR7 chip has 3 gigabytes which over a 192-bit memory bus gives 18 gigabytes, over a 256-bit memory bus yields 24 gigabytes, and over a 128-bit memory bus yields 12 gigabytes. Assuming GPU manufacturers want to keep board costs low, and narrow the memory bus width to take advantage of the 32 Gbps speed, they now have the option of using these 24 gigabits chips to make up for NVIDIA memory sizes. Of course, the GDDR7 standard has higher densities, such as 32 gigabits or even 64 gigabits, but those will be exotic, expensive, and be restricted to the professional visualization market, think RTX Blackwell Generation or Radeon Pro RDNA 4.